All right, a good Sunday to you. Thanks for finding us here for the Fox 26 tropical update. I'm meteorologist John Dawson, and I don't want to say that there's no change in what we've been looking at, but there's just minor changes because we've been waiting. We've been anticipating. We've known that something is going to form in the Western Caribbean. It's just that it's going to be another day or so before something happens, but let's dive into things. I'm glad you're here. I do want to start with what's not in the Caribbean to begin with, because this is something just to kind of be aware of. You're going to hear some things about this. It's just not what is quite as quickly happening. We've got uh, what was labeled as Invest 96 L that has been dropped to pretty much a 0% chance that it's going to turn into anything. And then there's a tropical wave just coming off of the African coast right now. That's going to enter a, a larger area of more favorable development over the next seven days. Again, key there is stretching that out to seven days. National Hurricane Center giving that a 50% chance of development. So those things are a little less of a concern of the, what is be continuing to brew. We now have a 40% chance over the next two days. So Again, we've been waiting and knowing that nothing was going to happen until we get out of the weekend. But now that we're getting to the end of the weekend, we know that Monday, Tuesday, at least there's a possibility. But for sure, once we get a little bit further, I think by Wednesday, definitely we're going to have some sort of a tropical uh, system that is existing, uh, some sort of a tropical cyclone is out there. So this is what the National Hurricane Center is watching. Some very disorganized uh, showers and storms that are way to the western edge of the Caribbean. Those are going to creep a little bit further to the north. Better chances for development, but even higher chances for development if they were to make it into the Gulf of Mexico. I think this is probably going to be something that forms before it gets into the Gulf of Mexico. But we're again giving ourselves plenty of room here for development. And the key to this is, of course, that right now, our confidence is pretty low when it comes to specifics. Our confidence is relatively high. You can tell by the National Hurricane Center's 80% chance that something is going to develop. All indications are there that something is going to form, but it's the exactly what is forming and more concerning where it's going to go that that confidence becomes much less. And so it's just one of those things where we have a lot more information out there than we used to. And there's such a high demand on everybody to bring stuff right now, even when our confidence isn't very high. And these days we're giving a lot of this information maybe even earlier than what we used to because the, some of this information wasn't available. But more specifically, uh, that's where the demands are. That's what the expectations are. So here it is. Just not a lot of answers to what we're looking at. Let me show you what some of the computer models have. This is the European model. And as we've talked about for the next 48 hours, not seeing a whole much, but watch this western edge of the Caribbean just to the east of the Yucatan Peninsula. You start to see those arrows take a little bit of more of a circular flow. You start to see the rain and the storms becoming more organized. And by the time we get to Thursday, we certainly have something that's approaching the panhandle of Florida. Again, not sure exactly, but at this point I would lean towards saying a hurricane uh, moving towards the Florida panhandle at the end of the week. GF the American, sorry, the European model is a little bit slower. Uh, I'm sorry, a little bit quicker in what it's where it's taking it as far as making it towards Florida. You'll notice if you are New Orleans or to the west, things look a little bit uh, less concerning at the moment, but I do need everyone to make sure that you are aware nothing's formed yet and those expectations could be changing depending on where this turns out and anywhere in Florida, of course, needs to be very concerned. That's going to take quite a bit of rain up into the southeastern portions of the east coast as well. So something to keep in mind if you're in that part of the country. Here's what we'll do. The same thing again with our GFS model. This is the American model. Very similar outcomes, but perhaps a little stronger of a storm and perhaps just slightly slower in its movement. Here's that rotation showing the beginning of something forming, staying over in the eastern portions of the Gulf. This looking to be a little bit stronger, a little bit more organized. I paused both of these at the same spot Tuesday afternoon. And as I mentioned, just 
just a slight bit uh, difference in those models as it still takes that landfall into the panhandle uh, and then quickly brings quite a bit of rain to the southeast and then kind of falls apart somewhat. So there's several big steering components. They're going to be involved in all of this. Most of everything, again, keeping it to the eastern side of the Gulf of Mexico. So that's perhaps a little bit more confidence than where we were at the beginning of the weekend. But for the most part, we're still watching and waiting. Once we have a low pressure system that is almost a tropical system or even better when it is a tropical depression or stronger, then those computer models will do even better job. Our confidence levels can become even stronger. And of course, we'll have less time unfortunately to deal with it, but that's kind of where we're heading. Next name on the list is Helene. That's the one we'll be looking for. Also remember that system out in the Atlantic, should it hurry and try to form a lot quicker, then it might be a little bit of a race here for the next two named storms. Uh, but that's de certainly where we're heading. I think we're going to have both of those uh, occupied, taken, by the time we get to the end of the week. Thanks for checking in here. As always, we give these updates every day of hurricane season here on the weekends as well as the weekdays. I'll be back tomorrow in the afternoon, a little bit after 4 p.m. Central Time. I know we have an international audience. It's not just for the folks here in the Houston area where Fox 26 is. We've got people watching all along the Gulf Coast. We're glad you're checking in with us. Keep checking in with us. We'll keep you updated and we'll see eventually once this forms into something about where it's going and we'll continue to track and let you know what you, you should expect as we're watching the Gulf all this week.